Hello uh, and uh, welcome on my video on how to solve the sticky grip issue uh, of the Canon EOS 30. So what we have in front of us is a uh, uh, rather lovely uh, Canon EOS 30. It was one of the last film cameras ever made by Canon and it's it's really a wonderful wonderful camera to shoot it has a nice and bright viewfinder, very comfortable in the hand um, and practically has all the functions that you will ever need. Unfortunately, and uh, in, in similarity with other uh, cameras and electronic devices f around the year 2000, there is this rubberized like coating. So underneath, uh, the body and the grip is hard plastic but on top of it there is a rubber like coating. What tends to happen over, over time is uh, this coating becomes sticky and quite tacky. Uh, it can easily stain your uh, fingers uh, or your clothes. Uh, it's, it's rather unpleasant and it's not comfortable to use the camera. Well, luckily we can fix that. Uh, using some uh, some 96% alcohol. This uh, this alcohol is uh, available at general drugstores, or you can order it online, of course. But the principle is it's, it's very easily available. Now, uh, before we start, we need to find a spot which is not visible uh, on the on the face of the camera and which has these coatings. So usually that would be on the bottom, such as this one right here. So we can, we see the, we see the coating on the front and it, it just wraps underneath. So we will want to test the alcohol on this tiny surface, just to ensure that there will be no um, damage to the plastics, no weird reaction. Now I have already done that and I know that the 96% alcohol that I have works perfectly fine, so we can proceed to fix the rest of the grips. And here I've started, and you can clearly see the difference. On the bottom is where I have cleaned the rubberized coating. It is nice and shiny. Uh, when you touch it, you don't really hear any, uh, any sounds of tackiness, but on the top, which looks matte and dirty, you can actually feel and hear the tackiness. Let's listen. And on the bottom. So, clearly, let's continue with uh, solving our problem. 